everyone. Hello, hello, hello. I'm here. It's... Monday. <laughs> um, welcome to tonight's stream. We're gonna be uh, playing more Tamodachi Life. I didn't get to stream for three days, and now I'm like, I'm fucking depraved. I haven't gotten to play Tamodachi Life in three days, so I'm gonna fucking explode. Um... But I hope you're all doing well. It was either this or Mario Kart, but I was kind of like, I, I could wait a little bit on Mario Kart, because I was on, like, Will's stream of playing all the Mario Kart tracks for a decent amount. Fun as fuck stream, by the way, and I'm really proud of, like, Will and his community for how much money they rose for uh, Games for Love. I, I was very happy to be a part of it. We were also accidentally a part of a viral post. Um, one of, one of the people who was in the game, uh, posted a clip of, like, the random odds of us getting Toad Circuit. Um, and that just, that video, like, blew up on Twitter with, like, I think, I, I think last time I saw it was, like, at half a million. <laughs> yeah, I think it's so fucking funny. That's, like, accidentally probably the most viral thing I've ever been a part of, and it's just a random Mario Kart clip. Honestly, this is how it was always meant to be. I like, like, I like to believe that I'm the ultimate background character of the internet. I always exist in some form, but you just, like, it's, it's easy to forget. Yeah, this is always the plan. Toad Circuit was always the plan. <laughs> um... But yeah, that was a lot of fun. I've been playing uh, SpongeBob Battle for Bikini Bottom on my own. That's kind of been like the game I've been like playing. And like, man, that game's good as fuck. I mean, I think I like the Cosmic Shake more, which I did actually stream earlier this year. That is a game that I've streamed. Uh, but Battle for Bikini Bottom is really cool. It, it, it's like one of those things where you can tell that like this is like pre-movie like SpongeBob media in like a good way. I mean, it's hard to fuck that up. Early Spongebob kicked ass. Um, but yeah, that's that's a brief bit of what I've been up to. Um, I also, by the way, I have Pokemon cards. Oh, you can't see them. Here they are. I got two Paradox Rift packs after work. One's got Armor Rouge, one's got Garchomp. And Garchomp is tearing the fuck up. Too bad that dude will never be OU in Gen 9 again. Unless they, like, in DLC 2, they give him, like, I don't know, like a super duper dragon blast attack that does a million damage. Uh, but I don't see that happening. I mean, I could be wrong, but I just, I don't see it happening. Oh, and it's got the armor rouge on it. Dude, he's so cool. I was actually another thing that I was considering tonight was maybe returning to Mega Man, but I wonder if it's because I've been watching like Jay-Z meme videos too much. Jay-Z ain't dropped yet, bruh. Don't worry. Um Well we got Wimpod. We got Plusle. I love Plusle, fuck yeah. We got Tandem Mouse. Listen! <laughs> we got Toad's cool. We got Wug Trio. We got Techno Radar. We got Steeny. We got Knackle Stack. We got Low Kicks. Woke Trio, true. We will see three women tonight. Our 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 Doug Trio trio from the Nuzlocke. Um and they're kind of like woke trio. I got the holographic Yovel Paul, which is cool as fuck. Although 130 HP for like a legendary mon seems really low. Maybe I'm crazy, but with the fucking power creep of like the Pokemon trading card game, 130 HP for a legendary Pokemon, especially a box art legendary Pokemon, seems extremely tame. Like, like, someone at, like, the fucking- whoever, like, does the game design for Pokemon cards, 
They had to, like, fucking, like, hold back so hard to not give, like, Yveltal, like, a million HP. Some that game freak hated this mon. Basic fire energy. Alright. I got one more pack, and then we can start Tamadachi for the night. It's funny. This is semi-related to Yveltal. Dude, Ryan Moon. Um, so if you guys are familiar with the legendary Calyrex Shadow, um, that's basically, like, Calyrex is the stupid deer from, uh, Sword and Shield that has, like, the big head, um, and it's riding on the horse, the Shadow Horse, I forget its name, I think it's Spectrier, um, and that shit is, like, super fucking strong, it is banned in Gen 9, but not Gen 8. And the reason that is, is not because it got stronger in Gen 9, but because in Gen 8 Ubers, Yveltal is like the second most used Pokemon in Ubers because it is the only Pokemon that completely curb stomps Calyrex Shadow. Calyrex Shadow can't do fucking anything to Yveltal. Yveltal only exists to do one thing, and it's to kill that fucking deer. But yeah, there's a little competitive knowledge for you guys. And now, we got Joltik. We got Natu. We got Remoraid. We got Pumpkaboo. We got Cloth. Orthworm! Dude, this fucking Orthworm card has more HP than Yoveltal. That's funny as fuck. Oh wait, this Epsol is really cool. Fuck yeah. Got the Holographic Gibble. The Holographic Low Kicks. And an EX Holographic Bombardier. Psychic energy, oh my god. Alright. Why don't we get started? And my promise, my, my promise to you guys on this stream is that I will not accidentally commit charity fraud. Do you guys trust me? I will not do that, okay? Citrus had five updates. You don't trust me? Well, what the fuck am I supposed to do about that? Alright? Change your ways. It's, it's doing the thing. Hold on. I can see the lines. Emulator? No, this is my real 3DS. It just looks like that. This is just what the 3DS looks like now. Yeah, thank you for trust. Alright. Well, last time, uh, I believe Bort had his heart broken. But it's okay now, because he's okay now. Get our donos in. Oh, fuck! Oh, shit, wait. <laughs> A high King Mario. Let's get Coconut. So let me make sure my controller's plugged in. It is not. Again, this is just what my 3DS is like in the, in the modern day. Don't worry about it. Dog. Let's get some squid ink spaghetti, tomato soup, yaki soba. Soba! Yeah! Yeah! 
Anyways, if you guys have no idea why I'm why I'm doing this like bit about like charity funds, um Apparently it has been revealed uh that the completionist charity, I don't know if he owns it or if he's just like on the board of director. Uh, apparently they have just, like, not been donating the money because they were like, well, we don't know where to put it. Which is, like, people are immediately misconstruing that as embezzling charity funds. Which is, like, that that would require one of, like, someone on the board of directors to pocket it directly into their money and, you know, do that kind of shit. This is just a case of, like, it seems like the the people involved with this charity are just kind of stupid. <laughs> because how do you just like how do you just have all this money in a bank account and you're like I don't know where to put it. I I, I don't know where to put it. Are you running a charity then? <laughs> are you advertising this great charity you have and the money's not going anywhere? It's like, it's so bizarre. It's, it's like maybe one of the more bizarre controversies because I'm just like, how does this even happen? How do you, how do you just have a charity that's just, you put, you, it, it, you just put money in a bank account and that's it. It doesn't even go anywhere. Welcome. I don't know. It's strange. It's strange, but the, 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 see, the jail cell is like forbidden tech. It's like forbidden comedy tech. We have to like put someone in jail when it's most funny. I already got a few people asleep. Why oh, if a Bigfoot wants to make a friend? Who do you want to be friends with? How's it going? You should definitely be friends with Unboxo Man instead of fucking Small Salad. That dude sucks. Why are you even- I forgot that like last Tomodachi stream everybody just became friends with Small Salad. Get better taste. You guys need to make better friends. Hi. Food I have to try right away. That's great. Who do I want to be friends with? I'm playing Wii U with Justin Dance. Or, he's playing Wii U and I'm just watching. Sorry, Justin, I'm gonna have to interrupt your game. I'm already, like, my me, like, I told you guys, the only reason that my me became friends with Small Salad is because my me wants to get with Raven, and Raven only is friends with Small Salad. I heard that Reggie wants to be friends. I guess you could be friends with Reggie, man. I post those things up. Is he just standing there? friends now yeah I could handle being friends with Reggie Minch it, it's way better than being friends with fucking small salad yeah I want you to have this next month is crazy busy for me I'm in hot demand right now okay oh, yeah, actually though dude I'm gonna be a part of so much random stuff We got all these places open now. Let me at least visit them real quick. I don't know if anybody's actually here. The concert hall we know. Concert hall we know. Oh, Fergie is barking. Dude. Testament is just... Watch... It, like, Testament really wants to go in and grab a coffee, but there's like... The, the fucking cafe is closed. They need to go home. 
<laughs> they keep like peeking in because they're like, maybe if I maybe if I do it this time, I'll like catch like one of the closing people off guard, and they'll have to open the door for me. Oh, Tamadachi quest. I can't even tell who the first me is. Can I be real? Who the fuck is the first me here? Is that Unboxo Man? Or no, that's Swagger 2? It's so fucking hard to tell. It is Swagger 2. Okay. I just get this over with as soon as possible. This is the fastest way I could do it. <laughs> I only have attackers. I don't have like a single healer. I need this octopus to be dead. Yeah, just go right. Dude, the King Mario boss? Just kidding, it's bowling ball. Yeah, just keep missing. No, Swagger 2, that was not directed at you, buddy. Oh, the fire is bad. I forgot that Unboxo Man had the fucking horse mask on. Reggie Minch is dead! <laughs> We're getting owned out here. There we go. We won. What the fuck else was I supposed to do aside from, like, spam the special attack? Dude, Tamadachi Quest is ass. No one here at the moment. Fuck this bowling ball, literally. Hey, Bethany! You're watching me, dude. A fish that was considered just a legend has finally been found swimming around Pretty Good Island. Yeah? The beef research team fished it up after <laughs> beef like Beef research team. Oh! Who discovered the fish? That is to say, it looks so surprised all the time, but not quite as surprised. That's just how King Mario looks naturally. We asked some islanders for their thoughts on the matter. And hi Atticus, welcome. I'm on their hand. Wow, Unboxo Man. Unboxo Man doesn't give a shit about nature. He's just like, fucking whatever. We all die anyways. Except, like, Unboxo Man, you don't die. Is the thing. You don't die. Ooh! Testament's having a really good day. They're, like, fucking awesome. So is Swagger 2. Swagger 2's having a pretty good day. It's not as good as yesterday, though. Honestly, though, he's probably gonna be hyped up for tomorrow's Swagger Tuesday. Raven. God, a fucking forgotten neighbor is here. <laughs> Fuck's sake. Who's doing badly? Good! Good! Fuck you, small salad. We hate your stupid ass. This guy sucks. Um, how am I doing? I'm like 12th. It's like on the lower end, but still pretty good. I'll take it. Well, I'm happy that I'm above Small Salad now, but I I do not like that Small Salad is still the fifth most popular Islander. I do not like that. I do not respect it. 
When did I get so much girl charm? But this stays the same. That doesn't change. Alright, let's see what problems our funny little guys have. Oh, yo, Justin's going crazy on it. What's up, Justin? How's it going? Oh, I'm not getting along at all with Justin Dance? This fucking sucks. I need to eat something. I think my me is like, yeah, me and Justin are cool, and Justin is like, I can't fucking stand this loser. Fucking A. Have a corn dog. Will you forgive me if I give you a corn dog? He did enjoy it. Here, I want you to have this. Brittany and I often have deep talks about life, also about food. He's not getting along with. R R He's only getting along okay with Raven. Oh, Raven is asleep. There's nothing Are Raven can even do about that. With me? You know what? Let's all big beef first. We gotta we gotta hand it to the beef meister. Man, is nobody getting along that great with Raven? You're hungry, uh sweet and sour pork, my dude. Newsflash? Oh, wait, what's going on? Oh, the pampered ranking. When all is said and done, we get more intro for like my stats. Every pretty good islander is fine. I I think I have a feeling. I have a feeling I know who the most pampered is. Man, go to hell, Dick Nose. My guess is that Bethany is going to be at the top. Bored! Bort and Krungus are above Bethany? Okay, Bort, I could see. Bort is, like, understandable. Krungus, though? Have I really interacted with Krungus that much? Man, there's a big discrepancy between Brittany, Bethany, and Bitch. How the fuck is Dick Nose number seven? I- I need to stop giving this guy attention. The fact that there's anybody under Small Salad also is a shame. I cannot believe that I haven't interacted with Swagger Freaking 2 that much. He's Swagger 2. <gasps> we got love? I'm scared. I'm scared. No. No, 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 no. This can't be happening. You can't. No, no. I refuse. I will not let this happen. No. Don't do it. <laughs> You're crazy. You're fucking crazy. What a horrible thing to say. Man, go fuck yourself. <laughs> you aren't. <laughs> I hate this guy. I'm not even gonna fix his sadness. Because this guy sucks. <laughs> he just went to bed. <laughs> I called him crazy and he just... He went to sleep about it. <laughs> I owned him so hard he, he like passed out. Get fucked, small salad. There was- uh, no. I refuse- Listen, if he said anybody else, I maybe would have gone along with it. But the fact that he wanted to get with my me, absolutely not. No fucking way. How's it going? Wait, it kind of would have been funny if I let my me reject him. 
Because I'm just realizing my me isn't even getting along well with him. I, like, forgot about that fact. It actually would have been funny to let my me reject him outright. But you know what? I think it was funnier for me directly to call him crazy. How's it going? Please make another friend. I don't really know much about this Rin character. Go make friends with Rin Kagamine. You're a great match. You should go make friends. <sighs> this fucking cunt. Something cool did happen, Dick Nose. You missed it because you're all caught up in your own fucking world. You don't even have any friends. I need to sleep, but it won't come out. I don't think I want to make Dick Nose sneeze. Listen, that is not gonna- that- this stream- this stream will be taken down for NSFW content. That wasn't snot! That wasn't snot! That is also the only time I've won the fucking sneeze minigame thus far. I don't know. I have a natural wood interior, I guess. Pretty bad? I forgot that pretty bad and pretty good spawn neighbor. <laughs> I always forget that, like, I didn't, like, fix the thing so that pretty good and pretty bad spawn neighbor, but I think it's funnier that way. That wasn't snot. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe. And ring the bell. No such oh, I didn't even mention it earlier, but Mason redeemed pretty good, and you know what? I've gotta say it. It's pretty good. Okay, me's are starting to go to bed. So I think we might do some time travel. We could we could play with Bort and Bethany. You know what? I'll play with Bort and Bethany real quick. Hold on. Wow, Bord is getting along swimmingly with people. I wish that he wasn't getting along swimmingly with Small Salad. I would rather him be getting along good with fucking Brittany, but whatever. Here's your first Islander pack. Swagger and Justin are wearing the same outfit. Yes, I think. I don't think I gave the, either of them outfits yet. True. Next stop, your second Islander flag. Dick Nose and Brittany are next door neighbors nope. with me apartment. Nope. Oh fuck, I almost pressed true. The correct answer is... It is not true. False. And finally, the last Islander flag. Brittany and Raven are dating. Bort, they're not even in the same age group. The correct answer is... Bort. Fall. Bro. You did She's 14. Congratulations. Thanks for the whole, t whole toiletries. I'm hungry. Oh, you're hungry too? Okay, have a biscuit about it. I want you to have this. Oh, toiletries, true! If you think we need dark light, 
in your world. That's right. I think that Miis are, like, the size of, like, plush toys. Like, a small plush toy. You, you got, like, everybody here knows the Fumos, right? That's what, that's what the Miis are sized at, I think. Rin has a problem. She's really cold right now. She wants something casual. <laughs> I don't think we have anything casual right now. Um... Uh, this is pretty casual. A tunic and the leggings. It's not really in her color, but we don't have a lot of colors unlocked for a lot of shit yet. There must be more people who'd like to live here. Can you find someone? You know what, Rin? You're right. We should add. We should add someone. You know, it's- it's tradition. Tomodachi stream, you gotta add some people. You gotta add to the chaos. Alright. I'm- I'm curious. Who- who would chat want to see on the island? Do you guys have any characters that you're, like, dying to see on the island? Hulk toilet. I mean, Hulk toilet is kind of iconic. Fall, fall guy. King Mario is kind of like a fall guy a little bit. All right, let me let me look up Hulk so I can make Hulk toilet. <laughs> Now, it is important to note that th that Hulk toilet, even though he's gonna have the appearance of the Hulk, it is important to note that he will be- he- he is, like, the same Hulk toilet from the, uh, Draft League. Waffalos funny ass. Dude. Alright. So obviously he's gonna be big and buff. And he's gonna be green. Why are we making Hulk? We're making Hulk Toilet. <laughs> Iconic MFL Draft League character. Can I put in Skibbity Toilet? Yay! I love Skibbity! Skibbity bop bop bop, yes, yes! Oh! I love Skibbity! Uh, unfortunately though, Skibbity Toilet had been uh, taken down from Twitch. Uh, we got a copyright claim, so we have to make Hulk Toilet instead. What do, what do you guys think is, like, the most Hulk hair? Maybe something like this. It needs to be a little flatter. Maybe not that flat. Do we have Scout TF2? Oh, shit. Scout TF2 is a really good one. We should definitely add Scout TF2. Should we add, like, Scout pre or post, like, us doing, like, time travel, do you think? I think, like, this is the closest. I don't know if there's any, like, really good, like, like, this is too full. Like, most of, most of Hulk's hair is, like, on the top of his head. So, like, that doesn't feel right. Do you guys think this is too crazy, or do you think this works? Zavok is, like, we would have to figure out how to- I, I think we would just straight up have to make, like, a human version of Zavok. Because we're not gonna, like, get close to his regular design. I'm not a talented enough, like, me creator. 
<laughs> Steven Universe. Travis is a good one. We definitely gotta get Travis in here at some point. Add Miku? I might. We have Rin in here. So maybe I could add Miku at some point. I I'm gonna go with this for the whole care. It doesn't- it, it's not quite as top-heavy as I'd like, but... There- there are just some concessions you have to make in life. Actually... No. No, ditch too much. Dish works. Yeah, we don't have Len, but to be fair, uh, Rin is probably, like... Part of what I've been trying to do is that I want to make, like, the Islanders we add, like... You know, like, relevant to streams more. And, like, Rin is very relevant in that I had, like, a Rin Kagamine icon for many a year. Um, Len, he's cool. He's not really super relevant to the stream, other than he's related to Rin. I'm sorry, I separated them. Trying to think, what are the most Hulk eyes? Man, I fucking suck at making memes. What the hell is this? This barely even looks like Hulk. I guess it is Hulk toilet though. This is such a shitty Hulk. <laughs> this sucks. It's kind of funny. It's kind of funny how much this Hulk sucks. I guess it's befitting if he's the Hulk toilet. Give him a mole, just in case. <laughs> what swagger foul play does to a motherfucker. Literally. Toilet. Hulk toilet. Hulk toilet. Um, what 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 is the birthday of the Hulk? I forget like the Hulk's real name. Also, Bruce Banner. Yeah, what what is Bruce Banner's birthday? It doesn't say on Wikipedia, bro. Bruce Banner birthday. December 18th, 1969. Okay. I can work with that. Hulk Toilet can be born in 1969. Because it's like the funny number. I'm Hulk. I'm Hulk. I'm Hulk Toilet. 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 My nickname is Hulk Toilet. My. I'm Hulk Toilet. 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 My nickname is I'm I'm Hulk Toilet. My nickname I'm Hulk Toilet. My nickname is Hulk Toilet. I'm Hulk Toilet. Okay, so Hulk Toilet is like. I see the Hulk is a very fast kind of guy. I mean, he's like big and buff, so like he could use those legs to fucking schmoove. 
Uh, I I think he's also very direct. He's like not so expressive because he's mostly mad. Um, Hulk Toilet is extremely serious. He's he's extremely quirky. Hulk Toilet. He's a confident go-getter. Okay. We did. I I think we do need to add code names team Abraham Lincoln. I think you're right. I think we literally talked about doing that, too. What's up? Hulk Toilet, is that like skibbity <laughs> Dude, he just got here and Bort's already like, dude, he's green like me, though. He's green just like me. That is true. I, I've streamed- I, I want to stream more Resident Evil, but Leon would be a good choice. Honestly, Ada, because she's just kind of cute. She kind of bad, though. Is that Frost? Yes! Bort- Bort and Hulk Toilet are now friends. Let's fucking go. We are friends now. Don't know if Ada has a birthday. Mm-hmm. Honestly, Bort, you should sing opera. Here, I want you to have this. I have a really stupid idea for a song that just came to my mind. You can already see where this joke is come going. It, it like. It, Bort, like, when he's, like, if he was, like, a put in a situation where he was, like, put, he had, like, pressure put on him to perform on stage, he probably would just, like, recite his name over and over like he's a Pokemon. This is gonna sound great. I'm really excited to see how the me tuning works out on a song where the only lyrics are Bort. He has such a beautiful singing voice. <laughs> such a beautiful performance. Yeah, keep it, keep it. Alright, that's a keeper. Neighbor is dead. <laughs> Neighbor is dead. What's up? Would you like to see a funny face I've been working on? Sure, man. <laughs> okay, that's pretty good. Are you impressed yet? Not bad. Not bad is not good either. I better keep practicing. Neighbor, uh... You should have... What can he use as, like, a trap in his house? I don't know. You need, like, a guard dog. At the end of the day, what you really need is you just need a guard dog. I asked before I came. It's worked well for me so far. That is true about your AI. I have, like, been convinced, like, very easily that I think, like, the next me we have to add is Abraham Lincoln from Codename Steam. Specifically, Codename Steam Abraham Lincoln. We have to join the team. Okay. 
Okay, hold on. Let me get a reference image of Abraham Lincoln up, but specifically his codename Steam. <laughs> Appearance. This is fucking awesome. We know that Abraham Lincoln was quite a tall individual in his day. My IQ is 162, let's go. He's like kind of chiseled. Oh, that's Lincoln's level IQ? Oh, wait, no, I have Lincoln level IQ. Wait, maybe I don't. I'm dumb as fuck. Abraham Lincoln actually looked exactly like the default me in real life. <laughs> My IQ is now 280. Let's fucking go. They said actually you get it higher. Wait, that actually doesn't look bad. Wait, that's pretty close. Right? That's like decently close to the codename Steam Hair. I mean, it's fine if we make this version of Abraham Lincoln a little anime because he's from fucking codename Steam. He's definitely got some wrinkles. <laughs> it's fine to make any version of Abe Lincoln a little anime. <laughs> True. We have a lot of frowning characters. This is maybe the most frowning characters I've ever had on an island. But like, look at how serious he is. I don't know if I'm a big fan of the eyes. You know what? Yeah. And then we can change the wrinkles a bit because he's got like the forehead wrinkles. There's not really forehead wrinkles, though. That works. Do we know Abraham Lincoln's favorite color? I said it would be- it's gotta be red, white, or blue. Because he was an American president. <laughs> oh, wait. Was he a Democrat or a Republican? Seems like a purple kind of guy. He is wearing blue in the image. That is true. I guess also like, oh, he was a part of the National Union Party. Which was a name for the Republican Party. I mean, also, like, the Republican Party from, like, the 1800s, yeah, that, that would be Democrat now. So I guess it doesn't matter. He's wearing blue in the image, so he's gonna be fucking blue. I always forget that at some point in history, the Republican Party and the Democrat Party basically swap. Because that's so fucking baffling, how would that happen? How did that happen? They just completely swapped politics. American moment, true. And I mean, like... 
FDR was a big part of it. Mm-hmm. Bumped into each other and accidentally mixed up their name tags. Well, so is Abraham Lincoln. Lincoln. He is named Abe. He will just- he will simply be Abe. Hey. What, what is American President Abraham Lincoln's birthday? February 12th. And then, like, man, Abraham Lincoln has been dead for some time now. Why is everybody just figuring this out? We can't even make it his real year because the game doesn't let us. Yeah, I know his birthday is near President's Day, but I didn't know exactly what day. I'm Abraham Lincoln. I'm Abraham. I'm Abraham. I'm Abraham Lincoln. 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 My nickname is Abe. I'm Abraham Lincoln. My nickname is Abe. I'm Abraham. What do we think? What, what do we think about President Lincoln? Has anybody listened to like an Abe Lincoln speech recently? Do you guys think Abe Lincoln is more polite or direct? This is the funniest question I could possibly ask. He didn't move very quick in that feeder. <laughs> True shit. True shit. Okay. Probably pretty direct. He was known for his politeness, really. Okay, we'll give him very polite then. Hey, <laughs> I never met the guy. <laughs> I would have also thought direct. You know, if you if you were if you were like a politician, I would assume you would be like decently direct. But I guess also like it, it it's a different story for back then. That's interesting. He actually has like a high pitched voice. Okay. We'll make his voice a little high pitched then. My nickname is Abe. I'm Abraham Lincoln. My nickname is Abe. <laughs> Literally saying this MF or sounds like SpongeBob. <laughs> My favorite color is blue. I'm Abraham Lincoln. Google. Was Abe Lincoln quirky? I'm gonna say, like, I don't know. All the pictures I see of him, he doesn't seem that expressive. Probably also because all the pictures of him, he's, like, fucking old. Are these, like, uh, uh, this is gonna be a dumb question, because I don't know when the camera was invented. These, like, pictures on Google of Abraham Lincoln, they're, like, real pictures, right? These are, like, some early, very early, like, photographs. Okay. So we do know what he looks like. He's not just, he's not just a guy who exists only in paintings. Okay. Lithographs. Anyways, he does not seem that expressive. Not really that expressive. He's he, he's very serious. I mean, you have to be a little quirky to be a United States president. First cameras were 1816. That's actually earlier than I thought. Abe <laughs> Lincoln is a lone wolf. <laughs> Historians were always saying this about Abraham Lincoln. Photography was invented in 1822. Interesting. He's a lone wolf, but wants us to join the team. He... Sorry, I was gonna say that Abraham Lincoln was Sundere, but then I like thought about it and I was like, I don't want to say that actually. So we have to pretend like I didn't say it at all. You almost said that a few minutes ago. What's happening? Bethany's only friend is Birdie. I want to be friends with Justin. Ooh. Okay. What should I talk He's kind of quirky though. Um, with Justin, be a little funny, Bethany. I'll go talk to them right Love now. steak pear gummy candy. 
The three food groups. Nice. I was drinking water while you were making friends. Um. Play on your Nintendo 3DS. Here, I want you to have this. Are you hungry? I bet you're hungry. Maybe go make up a sammy. Okay. Let's solve these problems real quick. We will add one more islander, and then I think we'll time travel to the morning when Watch everybody's out. awake. I'd like a mini ten gallon hat. That is extremely specific, Gam Gam. I guess she saw wife of Bigfoot wearing one and was like, "Fuck yes." Thing? Actually, now that I'm thinking about it, we don't really have like. Again, we're having a problem where we don't have enough women on the island. It's, like, so easy to add, like, men for media, but we don't have enough women on the island. Can someone recommend a woman to add who's, like, relevant to the stream? And I'd be like, you know what? You're right. Ada? Ada, Ada is a good one. You're the best. Thank you. Now here's a little something from me. I think I, I think some Resident Evil rep would do good. I act tough at home, but around others I'm gentle as a lamb. I could believe that, Gam Gam. That seems in character. What's up? I'd love to eat something fancy. Something fancy. Squid ink spaghetti is pretty fancy. Hey, he liked it. He doesn't like it as much as white bread, though. <laughs> He's still a bigger fan of white bread. At the end of the day... Don't put stuff off until tomorrow. It's best to tackle things as they come. Fuck it, A. Eh? Okay, we will add Ada Wong. Because I, I think she's cool. Resident Evil is definitely, like... It's definitely, re like, relevant to the stream, especially around the Halloween season. You know, I like to get a little Resident Evil action going. And, you know, it's still pretty close to Halloween. I mean, it was two weeks ago, but that's basically still Halloween. I like how the second image for her online is uh, a Dead by Daylight. I don't know how close uh, Dead by Daylight is to Ada Wong's, like, design. Use her Resident Evil 2 remake design in Dead by Daylight. I see. I see. Let's put her right here. Um. Kind of eyebrows like that. That's definitely like black hair. It's like short black hair. Doesn't really like dip at the end like that. Both of these are actually like decently close. I gotta admit. What do you guys think? One or two? One, 
too. Hey V, thank you for the resub. 12 months at tier 2. Thank you, thank you. I'm saying I'm seeing twos in chat. We'll go with two. Make it black. I'm assuming she probably has black eyebrows. It's a little hard to tell with the lighting, but we'll make it work. What's like her eye color? It's kind of hard to tell from this image specifically. Brown? Give her a nice shade of brown. Pretty? True! True. <laughs> oh god! <laughs> Default me eyes with like the colors is like a little frightening. You want to get scared? Get fucking scared. Um. Blue-eyed people. What are we thinking on the eyes? Who has eyes like this? Nobody in the world has eyes that curve upwards. Unless you're like, I don't know. What are you guys thinking on eyes? Genuinely don't understand the hate on blue and green eyed people. You don't understand why you've seen it so much uh, Mostly because it's like white genetics Pretty much that's like the big reason is that like most people who have blue and green eyes are white and That's why it's like the thing to make fun of that, That's pretty much the gist of it I'm thinking this, but I'm curious what you guys think. This feels like the most befitting. Like the eyes? Yeah, I I'm thinking this on the eyes. This makes sense to me. And then, like, the nose. Make it a little bigger. Can I- can I give an honest confession to you guys? Can I give an honest confession? I hate me lips. Like, it makes sense to, like, give Ada Wong, like, one of the me lips, but I fucking hate how all of them look. Does anybody else feel this way? Like, I don't know. I'm just, like, looking at this, and I'm, like, it, like, makes sense, but it's, like, ugly. I don't like how me lips look. Can we- can, do, do we agree just, like- like, they literally just ain't right. I agree. I don't know. I'm kind of, like, I am I think I'm fine with, like, the, the regular mouth. Because I just hate how much me lips look. Yeah, that's the thing also is that Ada isn't a smiler, but then, like, the non-smiling lips are, like... Like, these are not Ada. Let's just do this. Yeah, they don't fit in as well. There has to be, like, a very specific scenario where I'll use the me lips. Okay. Third row on page one looks fine. Mm-hmm.
I don't know. I'm still looking at this. I hate knee lips. But we'll do it. Probably make them darker. <laughs> the only good ones? That is true. That is true. How tall is Ada Wong? How tall is she canonically? Five seven. Shit, she's taller than me. She should be six seven. True. True. And she's like pretty thin. Also, good night, Nat. Thanks for hanging out. Have a good night. I got fuck. How the fuck do I get the fucking me thing to pronounce Ada? Whatever. Whatever. The me's always say things wrong. I am. I am typing that. How did you forget about racism 18 times? You live in like a nicer world than everyone else, I think. Does she have a canon birthday or should we just give her like Resident Evil 4's like original release date? It says she was born in 1974. January 21st? Oh, she debuted in RE2. Okay, I can work with that. And then we'll make her date of birth or her year of birth, uh, 1974. Listen, V, you're fine. Don't worry about it. <laughs> Sexy me. I'm at a one. 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 My nickname is Adam. I'm Adam Wong. I'm Adam Wong. My I'm Adam Wong. My nickname. She has like a pretty like I don't want to say flat because that sounds like insulting, but like she doesn't have the most expressive voice in like RE4 remake, which I think is fine for her character. I don't think she needs to be the kind of character who's like, oh fuck, Leon, wait, you gotta get the Krabby Patty formula. Like that's not Ada's character. So I think like this voice is fitting. She's pretty quick. She's pretty- she's very direct from what I've seen. I would not call Ada Wong polite. That feels wrong. I mean, maybe the Resident Evil heads could tell me otherwise, but Ada Wong does not- like, she does not come off as, like, someone who's polite. She, like, she gets down to business. She is down to business. Same with the expressiveness. I do not see her as an expressive person. You know, she is, she is, she is like, devoted to the mission. She's not, like, 
Like, she's she's not fucking Leon. She's not gonna make, like, a corny-ass quip or anything. Attitude... Pretty serious. I mean, she has the occasional one-liner, but... And she's... She's... Pretty normal. Pretty normal. A confident go-getter. We have a lot of confident people on the island. Oh, shit! Oh, Dick Nose wants to make a friend. Who do you want to be friends with, Dick Nose? Oh, too bad they're out there. I don't really know much about this Morgan character. What do you think about me and Morgan? Um... Nothing special. Oh, I see. That's too bad. News? Wait, what's happening? Oh, let me get Ada off the screen. 100 me problem solved in only four streams? Let's go. For me? The pretty good center. The pretty good center. As the island spokesperson, I would like to you know what? If there was gonna be anyone to be the island spokesperson, I'm glad it's Bethany. As a token of our bay, please accept this certificate of our appreciation. Thanks for watching. All right, yeah, the 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 me's are freaking snoozing, so we're gonna do a little bit of time travel. Okay, question for chat, actually. No, wait, I think I've made up my mind. Let's time travel to, like, around, like, we'll do 6 p.m. Because then we can get the night market, we can get all our dailies, and we can also get rap battles. You guys know we gotta get some rap battles in there. How long did I save? Even if I didn't. What time machine would I canonically use from a fictional series? I'm trying to think of, like, time machines from media I know. I know of, like, the DeLorean from Back to Future. I don't have a driver's license, so definitely not that one. The time machine from Chrono Trigger? I mean... I've seen Luca use that. That seems, like, kinda... kinda bad. I wouldn't use that. Not the time machine from Phineas and Ferb. That's like the third time machine I thought of. I would not use the time machine from Phineas and Ferb. Because they like forgot to make it so when you go to the past, uh, you don't need electricity. They, they, they blundered that up. Yeah, I couldn't use the Ocarina of Time because I don't know how to play music. Fuck, what time machines are there in media that I would use? That's actually the real question. Is there even a time machine that I would use? In any media? The TARDIS? That's true. I never really watched Doctor Who, but that's like probably the closest one, right? I mean, how does like the TARDIS work? Also, how many hours is it until 6 o'clock? I'm, like, trying to do the math in my mind. It's, like, 18 hours. It's, like, 19 hours. I think. Oh, you literally just enter a time and place? Probably the TARDIS, then. To be honest. That, that seems, like, idiot-proof. Like, how are you gonna mess up, like, time-traveling in the TARDIS? I'm not even, like, a Doctor Who fan, but I'm just like, yeah, that seems like the obvious one. Welcome. Let's get our daily stuff real quick. I accidentally keep clicking on the Citra, like, public browser. 
far from idiot proof. I mean, how how bad could it be if you just like put in the time and place? Have a nice day. Especially because I don't know. I don't think I would want to travel that far back in time because I'd probably get executed for like being a witch. Welcome. Love this game, hell yeah! Tamodachi life is fucking awesome. We will be doing channel points bets also on the rap battles. Just so you guys know, it is important to note that we will be doing bets on the rap battles. Welcome. Hope to see you again soon. We gotta save $50 for the night market. Aw, oh, man, we need $1,000 for the suit of armor. Dude, zebra print dress seems like bitch, like, fashion. The character, not, like, in general. Um... Shit. Campfire is actually decently, decently uh, expensive. Have several families? Hell yeah. Let's do Night Market real quick. We're gonna get some fucking shit. If it's small sal salad selling the bag, we're gonna get some bullshit. Dressing gown. A loofah. Trad wife outfit. Man. Fucking small salad. Fucking small salad. Neighbor wants to make a friend. Who does his neighbor want to be friends with? What's up? I heard that <laughs> he wants to be friends with Abraham Lincoln. <laughs> awesome. Do you think neighbor will join the team? Vote now on your phones. Yes! The neighbor has officially joined the team. Your friends now. Every person that becomes friends with Abraham Lincoln, by the way, is joining Codename Steam. No matter what. I have a dog that comes to visit me. Dogs are so cute and soft. <laughs> this, is, this is the canon. Bernie wants to make a friend. For for those of you guys who are not here, uh, Bernie is my interpretation of the protagonist from Pokemon Burnt Crystal, which is the creepypasta I wrote for Mascot Madness. Bernie, you should not be friends with Sephiroth. I mean, I'll introduce you, but you need to reconsider your actions. If you are, like, scared as fuck about, like, video game fire, you have chosen quite literally the worst person to make buddies with. Thank you, Omar, for the follow. Thank you, thank you. What should I do to get along with him? Bro had, like, a crazy experience about a Pokemon game where everything is going on fire. And, like, I don't know, I think he has, like, Stockholm Syndrome a little bit. Maybe that's why he went back to the game. How would you make friends with Sephiroth? Be polite. Thank Just be nice to him. I'll go talk to them right now. I'm sure that Sephiroth will be decently reasonable. Bestie would not like what Sephiroth did to Nibelheim. I'm not surprised that you didn't make friends, because he was probably talking about Nibelheim. <laughs> he probably told you, by the way, I burned down a town once, isn't that quirky? Like cotton candy. And now he's talking about Cloud too. <laughs> Sephiroth told him some shit for them to not become friends. Sephiroth had to tell him some fucking shit. Who does Unboxer Man want to be friends with? 
Uh, wow, Unboxo man, you are not doing good in the relationships right now. I heard that Bernie wants to be friends. Okay. I I feel like you'll get along better with Bernie than Sephiroth did. I I feel like you can't fuck this up like Sephiroth did. Cause as far as I'm aware, Unboxo man has not committed any arson. I think the most he's done is maybe put, like, candles on a birthday cake. I guess that is too much as well. We didn't really play. Wow. We didn't you guys, you guys gotta stop bringing up fire to this dude. I wonder what's popular right now in your world. Skibbity toilet! Yay! Skibbity! Woo! Alright. It's time. You know what freaking time it is. All right, Bort versus Wife of Bigfoot in a rap battle. I gotta be honest, I'm thinking Wife of Bigfoot, but, like, not by that much. I just think that, like, Bort is, like, so bad at rapping that, like, even, like, someone who's literally lived in the woods could rap better than him. Your rap populace this year. You better take heed. I call it money game, but there was no need. Let's see. It'd be really funny if she finished him off on like the second verse. Your rhymes are shallow. Mine are way deep. Board not going down immediately. All things considered, considering these two by all means should not have any rap game. The fact that it's even lasted like three lines is fucking crazy. Because one of them is like the world's biggest geek and the other is like someone who lives in the woods with Bigfoot. This is kind of crazy. They're going at each other. When it comes to rap, you just don't have the knack. Yeah. Holy shit. Bort actually won. Maybe his educated mind is actually good enough for the rap field. Solve a few more problems. We went immediately to rap battles. We do have some problems to solve. What is your problem, Testament? What can I do for you? What's happening? I didn't think Bored had it in him either. What to be I fair. When, I'm mad? when you're mad? What would Testament say when they're mad? I didn't even. I, I don't think I've ever considered that. What, what would Testament say when they're done pissed off? Everyone, <laughs> I am normal. <laughs> Even if they wouldn't say it, it would be funny if they said it. I am normal. I need to, like, what was in Testament's list of hobbies again? I need to look up Testament hobbies to see if there's any, like, things I can give that are relevant to their hobbies. I know the list is crazy. Oh my god, I was just posted in chat. Okay. Collecting makeup, plastic modeling, sightseeing, fishing. We can do makeup, we can do fishing. Um. We can't really do weight training. There, There is the beauty kit. We could give them the beauty kit.
embroidery, mountain climbing, nail art. They do like golfing. Writing sci-fi novels, belly dance. <laughs> Beach volleyball, watching baseball, making dollhouses, liquor, snowboarding, watching shark B-movies, collecting occult trinkets and scrapbooks. I'm on board with them going fishing right away. We'll definitely give them the beauty kit. We'll definitely give them a fishing pole. What would be like a belly dance? Is that like I guess the closest would probably be the hula dance? I have an intense feeling of deja vu right now. It's freaking me out. I'm also getting a feeling of deja vu. You're you're freaking me out a little bit, Testament. Hi, Bethany. I'd like a new hat. You can talk to me anytime. Um. Damn, I've given you so many hats already. Have a party hat. Here, I want you to have this. Thank you. I think. The cone of shame. That would have to be like around her neck. Oh, Raven's playing guitar. They're so cute. I need to get with them. I need my me to get with them so bad. They're so talented. Fuck. We could we could be doing a guitar duet together. Raven, please. Okay, actually, it is now my mission. Uh, I want to give outfits to the characters that don't already have one because they look naked. <laughs> it's like when SpongeBob went to work at the Chum Bucket. This kitchen is literally not the same without them. It's hard to remember the last time I got really emotional. It's been a while. Yeah, it was when Just Dance 2024 came out. What can we give Justin? You know, have a little bear shirt. You see, he's dressing very casually. We gotta give him another dance. We gotta give him all the dances in the game. Wait, are, those, are there only two dances? Why did I think there were like three? I guess like yoga is kind of close. He would definitely be like a yoga guy. I don't know why I thought there were more dances than just the ballet and hula dance. We are not fixing small salad sadness. I need him to ruminate on it. I need him to like process what went wrong. You're watching me nude. In a change from our usual nude, we have a space weather special for you. Okay. Let's go to our cosmic weather. <laughs> Hi. So let's see what the space weather is up to out there. Tomorrow the moon will be clear, but we'll have wind storms on Saturn. Jupiter will be cloudy. And Mars will start out with rain, clearing up by midday. The sun is expected to reach a high of 6,000 degrees. So, if you're on the sun tomorrow, wear sunblock. That's great. What am I supposed to do with that? Finally, it's about time. Thanks for watching. From your 6 o'clock meeting, this is Carl. Abe Lincoln didn't like any of that. But Swagger 2 was like, hell freaking yeah, baby! Wait, that's Dick Nose. I don't really want to solve Dick Nose's problem right now. Also, I got distracted. I was going to give clothes to everyone, and then I immediately gave up on that because I want to see more rap battles. Okay, so we have Swagger 2 and Bitch. Well, just so you know, uh, 
name redacted is gonna be bitch. Uh, because if I put in bitch or try to censor it, Twitch will get very mad at me. So put in your votes now. My vote's on Swagger 2. I mean, that's obvious. It's gotta be Swagger 2. Face your superior. Bow down and say my name. I hear losing rap battles is your claim to fame. What the fuck? Yo, bitch going crazy already. You can't even afford to buy rhymes like mine. You should quit rapping. You're on the decline. Nice. I just, I, I can't imagine a universe where Swagger 2 loses this rap battle. You should succeed. I need to go clean my apartment. <laughs> See, I told you. There was no way. No way in hell was Swagger 2 losing the rap battle. It's not feasible. Okay, Ada Wong has a problem. What's up, Ada? I'm Ada. I don't let anything stop it is, it is not Ada. I don't believe you. I'd like some new clothes. Have I got some news for you? Um. Welcome. Damn, like none of these are good for Ada. I don't know. I guess you could wear this. It's not really that many, like, great Ada outfits currently. Oh, that's okay. It's alright. Yeah, I'm, I'm with you. I like it. I don't love it, but I like it. Sorry is a hard word to say. I'd rather say goodbye than sorry. Ha ha. I don't think it's the voice. Hey, Will! Thank you for the raid! Welcome, everybody! Welcome, welcome! I hope you had a good stream doing tier lists. Yo, I just realized... Most likely Luigi, but there's a single... Most likely Gooigi in there. What the heck? What the heck? Oh, hi, everyone! I hope you had a good stream, Will! Just playing some Tamodachi? Um, imposter among us. You know, we should add Luigi to the island, now that I'm thinking about it. <laughs> what about Boxyville? Luigi seems like a very obvious guy to add to the island. What are you up to, Brittany? Can we add Mr. Peterson? Have I got some fucking news for you, Will? Have I got some news for you? He's dead. Oh, he's back. <laughs> In his famous hamster form. What's your problem, Brittany? What's happening? I need to sneeze, but it won't come out. Also, everybody who is watching will stream, can you confirm or deny whether or not uh, Will put Baby Park in S tier? Can we add Spongebob? Maybe. I, I might think about that. I do like the sponge. He did? Yes! Okay, then literally, like, then Will's right. I don't care what tier he put anything else in. He's right. He doesn't consider King Boo a Tumblr sexy man? Who thinks that King Boo is a Tumblr sexy man? I want you to have this. He is? I have never seen anybody on Tumblr talk about how sexy King Boo is. What are you guys talking about? I hope all these I said, Luigi's Mansion 3, but nobody was talking about King Boo after Luigi's Mansion 3. They were talking about Morty. Because he was, like, Luigi's, like, fake boyfriend. He was, like, Luigi's ghost boyfriend.
He has all the tropes? What are the tropes? He's just- he's just King Boo. Just searched King Boo on Tumblr and the first result was suggestive? People want him? Yeah, but, like, a Tumblr sexy man is, like, is that really on, like, a wide enough scale, though? Is, is, I don't- I don't feel like that's on a wide enough scale. Like, when you hear discussions of, like, popular Tumblr sexy men, like, King Boo is never in the discussion. I'd like to yeah, in the skibbity toilet. I need to express myself. You know what, Port? I don't have that, actually. Did, why the fuck did you just, like, want something I have? I don't know. I don't think he's in the do on the docket. I don't believe it. If you liked men, you'd probably be really into King Boo. I just, th I just think there's a difference between Sasha Nine. See, like, I don't think I would consider Sasha Nine a sexy man either. I would put Sasha Nine above King Boo. I think that Sasha Nine is closer to a Tumblr sexy man than King Boo is. Think sexy men need to transcend their own fandoms? Yeah. That's where I'm at, I think. I really do think that, like, the, the popular, like... The, the, like, adopting of the term Tumblr sexy man, like, people became too loose with the term, and now it's just, like... It's too vague. I don't know. King Boo is a shape who is evil and domineering in a cartoonish fashion. But, like, that's not what makes, like, someone necessarily a Tumblr sexy man. You have to be, like, extremely popular and, like... Have, like, this, like, insane, like, fandom around, like, the character specifically. Like, people do not get into Mario specifically for King Boo. Like, the number of people who have done that is not zero, but it's also not enough where it makes, like, a big enough impact for me to be like, oh, yeah, King Boo is a Tumblr sexy man. Like, here's the thing. Here, here's a good example that isn't just the one slur. Sans. Sans is a character that is, like, so insanely popular that he is definitely a reason that a lot of people got into Undertale. And also, a lot of those people got into Undertale because they think Sans is hot. They see this small, short, s s and stout skeleton, and they're like, he's hot. Okay, now you're just speaking nothing. If you are saying that, like, Tum Sans is not a Tumblr sexy man, then, like, you have to, you have to, like, you, like, you cannot, t like, listen, you cannot have this discussion with me if you're, like, oh, Sans is not a Tumblr sexy man, but King Boo is. You, like, don't understand what a Tumblr sexy man is. They're literally just one slurs. That's what- that's where it came from. The Tumblr sexy man term came from the onceler. They're not two different breeds. They're the same breed. It was all people, like, shipping alternate universes of these characters... ...together. They're the same breed. You can't- you guys can't do this to me when I've been on Tumblr for over a decade. Glad we're having this scholarly discussion. You did see a Sans Onceler one time? I, I've seen a Sans Onceler many a times. I remember, like, following, like, a, an Undertale artist because I, like, really liked their art, and then just, like, one day they inexplicably, like... 
started posting, like, nothing but, like, Sans AU shipping art of, like, the different Sanses being shipped together. Sans is, like, the closest we have ever gotten to a second Onceler. He was, like, you guys, like, if you were not there for, like, early Undertale fandom, you will not remember this. Because, like, even though Sans is popular now, he is not popular in the same way he was early on in Undertale days. It literally... I guess that is true also, Eeps. That is true. Will didn't put King Boo up there, but he put Kowalski the Penguin? That's crazy. Kowalski the Penguin is not a Tumblr sexy man. That's not true. Who the- Why- Kowalski- Yeah, no, we- I- Listen, I will keep it consistent. I will keep it consistent, okay? Kowalski the Penguin is not a Tumblr sexy man. You put Jack Skellington in a maybe? See, actually, like, Jack Skellington, I feel like, is a very interesting, like, one. Because Jack Skellington is an extremely popular character that came before, like, Tumblr Sexy Men was, like, a defined thing. You know what I mean? Like, Jack Skellington is, like, a prototype but he doesn't quite fit into, like, the Onceler category, so it's, like, a bit weird. I, I think he's a blueprint. I, I, I think I can agree that, like, Jack Skellington is, like, a little bit of a blueprint-type character. I don't know. I, 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 I'm, I'm kind of with you. I don't know if we can really, truly grandfather him into the Tumblr sexy man category. But I think, like, I, I, I think the idea is there. I, I can see the vision. Part of the madness comes from sheer scale. A small scattering of people into something does not make a sexy man. This is true. Loki was the original. When did Avengers come out? Was Avengers before Onceler? Because Lorax was like 2012. I thought that Avengers was like late 2012. It was May 2012. When did the Lorax come out? Lorax was a couple months before. So I'm I'm still confident that Onceler was the original. And then, like, Loki was, like, the second one. I, I would be down to say that Loki is, like, the second true Tumblr sexy man. Imagine living in an apartment and the local demigod that owns the island is chatting with their Twitch chat, filming the outside of your building, talking about Tumblr sexy man logic. <laughs> Fuck, also, like, rap battles are about to end in, like, a few minutes. We gotta- we gotta get some bets in there, alright? We gotta get some bets in here. Big Beef versus Wife of Bigfoot, alright? Get your points in. Especially while we have some raiders in. Oh shit, I didn't, uh, finish the last rap battle. Yeah, Wife of Bigfoot. She was our Street Fighter 6 character. <laughs> okay, Spamton is less of a Tumblr sexy man than Sans is. I can agree that Spamton would be, like, a Tumblr sexy man a little bit. Oh, no, I don't even know. He's, like, a TikTok sexy man. That's my logic. I was not seeing him on Tumblr. He's a TikTok sexy man to me. I, like, everybody I saw on Tumblr was not talking about Spampton as a Tumblr sexy man. The only, the only way I'm willing to delve on this is that he's a Twitter sexy man. 
Because I follow, I followed some people who immediately like became like big into Spamton, which is not not a call out, but. No, I d d listen. I think that Sans is the true continuation of One Slur. I the, like if you, the, like I will not like Sans is the only one who had like a fandom like the One Slur, where like people were like shipping like himself with each other because he was so popular, and people just did not like the other characters he was being shipped with. Bill Cipher is an early Tumblr sexy man. I'm like I'm like down with either Big Beef or Wife of Bigfoot winning. I, I'm thinking Big Beef wins just because Wife of Bigfoot lives in the woods. But we'll see. I mean, she's kind of got some swagger. I mean, this is this is the. This is the battle of the bigs. Big B versus wife of Bigfoot. Have beef with the Tumblr sexy man wiki for putting a Stenian on there? He's just a popular important character. I think that th this is the final thing I will say. Oh shit! Big Beef wins. Big Beef has won. Alright, this is my final statement on a Tumblr Sexy Man. It's the one true Tumblr Sexy Man. The number one Tumblr Sexy Man. Small Salad. <laughs> you forgot to vote. What's up? <laughs> I think Ford needs a sweetheart. Oh, centering him up with Brittany. Good idea. Wait. Wait, didn't Bort try to get with Brittany before and she rejected him? I I'm pretty sure that happened. Maybe. Maybe Reggie Minch, like, forcing them on a date with each other? Maybe that's the push they need. Wait. Is Brittany from anything? Um, so this is a funny story. Uh, very recently, I had been doing a Pokemon Emerald Randomizer Nuzlocke, and one of the Pokemon I caught in it was named Three Women. And we decided that these three women were named Brittany, Bethany, and Bitch. And I decided to make all three of them into Tamadachi Life Islanders. Thank you, too. Aw, they didn't... They didn't get together. That's so sad. They didn't hit it off so great. They didn't hit it off great? That's so sad. Wait. Yeah, th three women was a Doug trio. That's important. Alright, let's get in one more rap battle also. We have Bernie from Pokemon Burnt Crystal, and we have Rin Kagamine. This is actually a tough one, I feel. I can see this one going either way. Your heart says Rin, but your gambler spirit I says Bernie. I'm trying to see who's- I, I'm curious to see who's on each side. Me and wife of Bigfoot are supporting Bernie. And Ada Wong and Krungus are supporting Rin. You're a rotten tomato. I'm oh, shit. Your flow is a puddle. Mine's deep as a pool. All in on Rin. I'm a glorious beast, and you're a rickety mule. This is gonna be a close one. This, this might be a climactic rap battle. Crazy. It's hard to ignore. 
whatever. Wow! Ren insulted his hair, and he was just like, he couldn't handle it. Damn. Yeah, all of Will's money. Yeah, the, the Ren believers got that bread. Oh shit, we got another rap battle! Wait, it's not over. It's not over. We have a rap battle between Justin Dance and Hulk Toilet. Hulk Toilet clears. I think Justin Dance. My my heart says Justin Dance. You know, Justin Dance is like my easy vote. I dance to the polka. You're just another doll. <laughs> I forgot what I made Hulk Toilet's voice. Until just now. You look like a wow! Holy shit! Hulk Toilet destroyed Justin. I think Justin got intimidated by just how big Hulk Toilet is. Wow. Hulk Toilet sweep. Hulk toilet! Who's Brittany? Who does Brittany want to be friends with? What's happening? She is friends with Bored already. Oh, be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and ring the bell. You're the perfect match. Really? You might be right. Brittany, give Bort a chance. You've been friends since the start of this island. Give Bort a chance. I think that you two would get along swimmingly. Fly a kite. If a friend needs me, I'm there. <laughs> you thought the command was shut down all operations and turned on neighbor game. God, if I, like, made, like, neighbor game, like, only 5,000 channel points, I would have, like, something fucking wrong with me. That's, like, so cheap. Hop on Secret Neighbor. I do have to play Secret Neighbor at some point. That That is a promise that we made on the Halloween stream, is that I have to play Secret Neighbor. Yeah, Sephiroth, uh, Sephiroth is fucking frolicking. What do you want, Sephiroth? What's up? I'd like a new hat. A new hat. How about how a fight pilot hat? Sephiroth jolly as ever. He looks so fucking goofy <laughs> with the pilot hat on. Oh my god! You know what he looks like? He looks like the racist grandpa from Steven Universe. Wash my feet first in the shower. It's almost a ritual. I didn't need to know that about you, Sephiroth. The what? <laughs> Do you not remember the racist uncle from Steven Universe? Where, like, Steve Steven's uncle or whatever was, like, really racist? I don't know. I didn't watch that episode. I just know that people talk about Steven Universe's racist uncle. How's it going? You don't want to know? <laughs> Fair enough. I'd like some new clothes. Something to my cool factor. Swagger 2, you can make anything look cool. But I think this is the coolest clothes we have. Fuck yes. And if you guys in chat don't know Swagger 2, just go on Twitter and look up Swagger 2, baby. Would be so great if everyone on this island became friends. I would love to hear a funny, fun story. What's up? 
I'd like to have a disposable camera. I need to express myself. Oh, you wanted the camera. I don't have that shit for it. Sorry. Your friend Dawn made a very good point. They mentioned how nobody had seen that one Daphne and Velma movie, the live action one. See, I wouldn't have even known that movie existed until like literally this exact moment. Yo, Ada on the news? Justin took part in a wacky new island challenge event. So how far can it was direct to DVD. You took the opportunity to watch it yourself and it was the most middling thing ever. Unfortunately, they were one inch short. Can I add the fuck baby? It's Friday, White Claw guy. I don't know if I know who that guy is. Please don't try this at home. We asked some islanders for their thoughts on the matter. Probably still better than Velma. Get out of my way. I told people this would happen. I forgot that I didn't give Hello Neighbor his real name. His name is just Hello Neighbor. I've been like mostly what I've been doing with the island is I've been adding characters who are like relevant to the stream in some way, which is a lot of why the first two floors are like exclusively like stream relevant or like stream characters. But like any fictional characters I add are are ones that are relevant to the stream somehow. Or Scout? I I do need to add Scout. That is true. It's kind of surprising that I added Hulk Toilet before Scout. I feel like Scout is a more important Morgan lore character than Hulk Toilet. Yeah, I think you're right. We need Scout. Fuck, we should have gotten Scout TF2 in for some rap battles because he would fucking lose every single time. Where the freak is Zavok? See, I would- Zavok is actually a consideration. My thing is just like, how would I do Zavok as a me? Would I just be making like a human version of Zavok? But Zavok is a consideration. Same with Snoker, who is my Sonic Forces avatar, who's just Joker from Persona 5 and Sonic. Should the Peggle 2 guy be at? <laughs> Maybe. Maybe. We need the Mario Bros? Definitely. We definitely need Luigi. Maybe use the beard to replicate the mouth on Zavok? Maybe. Maybe. What are- what are- what is Scout's eye color? If we just added Snoker, I'm like thinking about it, Snoker would just- If we're making a human version of Snoker, it would just be the Joker for Persona 5. Right? Because the whole thing, the whole joke of Snoker in Sonic Forces is that he's Sonic the Hedgehog dressed as the Joker from Persona 5. Like a shitty bootleg Sonic dressed as the Joker from Persona 5. So if he was made into a human, he would just be Joker from Persona 5. I'm like trying to see. Scout looks like he has blue eyes. Right? Joker with with a blue shirt. His evolution has come full circle. True. I haven't even played Persona 5. I just thought it was fucking funny that you could dress up your avatar as the Joker from Persona 5. Okay, yeah. I'm looking out Scout's eyes. He definitely has blue eyes. Blue eyes. True. I don't even think we need that many, like, good reference images of Scout. I'm, like, looking at his wiki page, and I'm, like, seeing his 3D model. It was mostly just, like, a little hard to see the eyes. Because usually the hat is covering the eyes a little bit. Shit! 
Should his nickname be God's Gift? <laughs> that would be pretty funny. He's, he's like a, he's definitely taller than me. But he's like one of the shorter TF2 characters. Do we know his exact height? I don't think we do. How tall do you guys think Scout TF2 is? He's like decently tall. 5'4? He cannot be shorter than me. I will not make the scout from TF2 shorter than me. 5'4? Five, 5'4? Four, five, four. <laughs> He's not. The scout is not shorter than me. Yeah, TF2 has some tall guys. I think that's part of it, is that scout is just like comparatively short. Like, Scout is, like, fucking minuscule compared to, like, the heavy. What What is Scout's name again? It's, like, Jeremy... Does he have a last name? Jeremy Fitzgerald? Is that his full name? Seeing people say... 5'11". See, that's the saddest type to be. Jeremy. Do Jeremy Fitzgerald. I don't know if Fitzgerald is actually his last name, but we'll go with it. Can we make can we make like his like date of birth and Tamodachi be the day he dies canonically? Do we like this bit? I think this bit is really good. He dies and immediately gets reborn in the Tomodachi world. Albertson, <laughs> clearly. True? True? I'm Jeremy Fitz. I'm Jeremy. I'm Jeremy Fitzgerald. I'm Jeremy Fitzgerald. My name. I'm Jeremy Fitzgerald. 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 My nickname is Scout Tia. I'm Jeremy Fitzgerald. My nickname is Scout Tia. I'm Jeremy Fitzgerald. Well, obviously, he's really quick. He's really polite. Or, or direct. Why did I say polite? He's really direct. He's not polite at all. He's extremely varied. He's like a little relaxed. He's extremely quirky. An outgoing entertainer. Oh, Ada wants to make a friend. What about you, Scout? You don't want to do anything. You just want to be the Red Scout. Who do you want to be friends with, Ada? What's up? I don't really know how <laughs> she she just got a new next door neighbor and she was like who the hell is this guy she's trying to do like some like intel she's trying to figure out some intel you should be friends with scout I think it'd be really funny if you were friends with scout Ada I always plan my own vacation new white boy to manipulate <laughs> Uh, Ada Wong is from Resident Evil. She is a Resident Evil character. Yeah, she's Ada Wong. Didn't notice. Fair enough. Oh, Bethany wants to make a friend. I want to know who Bethany wants to make friends with. It's kind of chilly out today. I'd like to introduce Justin to somebody. How about Bernie? 
You know what? Yeah, sure. What should we talk about to help them get along? Just, uh, Justin Dance and Bernie? Um... As long as Justin Dance doesn't bring up fire, I think you're good to talk about hobbies. I mean, maybe Justin Dance will accidentally call a dance, like, so fire. Okay, I think that Bernie- they're- they're, like, confusing each other. Brittany, Bethany, and bitch. <laughs> and fans, terrible. They didn't really hit it off. Damn. I thought that would work for sure. I don't believe there are any truly evil people. Just evil things scare people do. That is, like, weirdly deep, Bethany. Are you, like, good? All right. I do think we will hold off on adding new- more new characters, just because I want, like, the current characters to interact more. Uh, but next stream. You like the creativity and the Gajinka designs of the Doug Trio girls? Thank you. I was like- I just, like, did this, and I was like- I was, like, really happy with the me designs I came up with. I mean, there are, there are a few characters here that are, like, original to this island. I mean, Brittany, Bethany, and Bitch. I had never made before us. Wife of Bigfoot is a new me also. I had I had never made her in me form before. I'm really happy with how Wife of Bigfoot came out. She just farted in my face. Raven, if you guys don't know Raven, uh, Raven is a character I added because I wanted an eligible bachelor for my me to get with. And uh, it's not happening so far. They, they, like Raven has no interest in my me. But they'll understand soon enough. Alright, my me became friends with Small Salad specifically to try and become friends with Raven. The Small Salad sucks, by the way. Fuck this guy. I can't stand this fool. I will take every opportunity to talk about how Small Salad sucks. Um... I don't know, Rin Kagamine kind of... kind of comes off as a picky eater to me. I like hash browns more than white bread. I like jumping into conversations. Raven is a I villain that is slowly working out a big plan. I don't believe that. The idea of making a hot goth boy specifically for your me to get with is so funny. Well, they're, they're, a, they're a hot goth non-binary to me. Heart. But yeah, I like I needed this, and fucking small salad is the only thing in the way. Small salad is the only fucking thing standing in my way. I am going to fucking like obliterate this little fucking man once my me gets with fucking Raven. I like some new clothes that are plain and modest. Is that not a plain and modest enough outfit for you? Water without any ice. Snail bread. The newest season of The Simpsons. I've never actually seen Sparkle on Raven, but I've heard it's good. Small salad found dead in a ditch outside of McDonald's. The only death he deserves. I, I can't help you, Bored. I need you to not want a disposable camera. What's what is your problem, Brittany? What should I say when I'm happy? Um... What would Brittany say when she's happy? OMG, girly pop. That's kind of a girly pop pose. You voted good goodbye volcano high in the game awards out of pity. I will never. I'm not voting in the game awards because I think the game awards are straight ass. I'm like a big believer in that the game awards just kind of suck, and they just kind of suck in the same way that any award show sucks. It's just like at the end of the day, the game awards is just like a popularity contest, and like. 
putting like any like weight into like these kinds of things is like you're just gonna set yourself up for disappointment the stuff that you like is probably not going to win unless you like really popular stuff which i typically don't all right currently my game of the year is like Oh, actually, Mario Wonder got nominated for Game of the Year, which I was actually shocked by. I didn't think that a 2D platformer would get nominated. But, like, other than that, like, I don't know. Like, Fire Emblem Engage was never gonna get nominated. I don't even think it got nominated for, like, Best RPG, which is fucked. Because that's, like, a really good game. But whatever. Whatever. What do I know? Sephiroth. Wanna play? Pretty please. Luigi is more fruity than every single baldy gate character combined, and the public is too cowardly to open their eyes. This is true. Here's your first Islander fact. Luigi is more gay than gay yeah, sex. Man, I don't know. The correct answer I don't think so. Fall. Next up, your second Islander fact. Born and Testament were born on the same day of the month. I don't think so. The correct answer is. Fuck! They're one month apart! Shit! Why did I- I didn't think Testament's birthday was on the 9th. I knew that Bort's was. But I was like thinking, there's like no way. Fuck. Fuck. We have a very ambitious crowd. We're still missing four personality types, which is interesting. We got the three trendsetters, the three entertainers. We got Bitch the Leader, two designers, two adventurers, three brainiacs, four go getters, four dreamers, one buddy. One free spirit, one artist, and one lone wolf. And the one lone wolf is Abraham Lincoln. Man, none of my Mies have problems right now. I guess we could check out what they're doing around town. Boxo man sleeping at the fountain. Aw, oh, you know what we gotta do? We haven't done it yet tonight. But you know what we gotta do. Abraham Lincoln chilling on the Ferris wheel. Bored and Brittany. See, like, they would be such a cute couple. Why the fuck is, like, Brittany, like, so dedicated to, like, not getting with Bored? This- we're watching, like, a- like, a slow burn in, like, real time. All right, quirky questions with Bethany, wife of Bigfoot, Hulk Toilet, Small Salad, King Madio, and Scout TF2. They can't just be friends? Well, I want someone on the island to get married. We gotta have some marriages on the island. All right. Um, who has tried Overwatch? This is the question of shame. Who has tried Overwatch? Um. <laughs> Absolutely nobody. They all know. They all fucking know. Even small salad. Fucking small salad is like, yeah, no, fuck Overwatch. No way Scout was gonna. Well, obviously. There was no way Scout would be into Overwatch. Who can't stand. Who can't stand small salad? I'm gonna ask it, like, right in front of his stupid face. Isn't Small Salad just like the baby Mario of George Costanza? He doesn't seem like an Overwatch type. Small Salad is Big Beef's greatest rival. Uh, Small Salad is just like a super villain. 
Small Salad is the supervillain of the island. If anything bad was to happen to any of the islanders, it would be, be because of Small Salad. We can't stand Small Salad. Oh my god. Small Salad has like a lot of internalized hatred. King Mario doesn't give a shit. King Mario is, yeah, like, yeah, fuck that guy. I hate him. Actually, this is a very interesting addition to Small Salad's, like, character. Is that even he, like, he hates it. He hates himself. Small Salad has heard everything I've said and internalized it. Good. Fuck this guy. If Small Salad wants to have a redemption arc, he's gonna have to earn it. Although, can I be honest? I think that Small Salad is more likely to have a redemption arc than Dick Nose. I think that, like, Dick Nose is just, like, so, like, unintentionally, like, fucking snooty that, like, I cannot imagine myself ever being, like, man, Dick Nose is, like, a stand-up guy. I think that Small Salad has, like, a fucked-up tragic backstory that we just don't know about yet. And finally... And he's also a Fujoshi. Who's afraid of... Who's afraid of dying? Oh, wow! Okay. Everybody on the island is ready. Holy shit. Damn. I mean, Scout's probably died a million deaths and doesn't even, like, notice the difference. So, like, I guess that's fair. Oh, hi, Krungus. What's up, Krungus? Why is- he's waving? Fuck. I wanted to see him wave again. Okay, we got some problems now, but let's do one more quirky questions real quick. It's time for some quirky questions. So we have Testament, Dick Nose, Whole Toilet again, Small Salad again, same with Scout. They're like in the same spots too. Whole Toilet, Scout, and Small Salad are in the exact same spots. It's just Testament, Dick Nose, and Rin are new. I, I like who thinks they're better than God. Who thinks they're better than God? Me. <laughs> Testament, you goof. <laughs> Dick Nose is like very heavily Catholic and is like, what the fuck? How could you say that? What the heck? Now for the next question. <laughs> Um, who can't stop thinking about those beats? Who wants a life full of fear? Wait, that's actually so fucking funny. Who wants to be scared? <laughs> Dick knows wants to be scared. I have done, like, yaoi answers before. That's how I know that Small Salad is a Fujoshi. Dick Nose fears God. Dick Nose wants to get so scared. And finally, your last question. Whose greatest weakness is boys' love? Greatest weakness is boys' love. Oh. oh, wow. This means that Small Salad has a greater weakness than Yaoi. I also think, like, Dick Nose is Catholic. I definitely think that Dick Nose is, like, a fucking, like, Catholic. The question is, like, how Catholic do we think Dick Nose is? Maybe that's why he's always so fucking snooty. What do you want, Ada? Full Roman. 
What do you wear around the house when you just want to be comfy? Um, I kind of just wear PJs. I can't, like, tell Ada Wong that I just, like, go nude. I think you would have to be, like, an insane person to tell Ada Wong from Resident Evil that you walk around the house nude. It's like a pajama party, but you're the only one invited. I don't know. I mean, I'm wearing, like, my outside clothes right now. I haven't changed into PJs, but you know when I do. I'll be so fucking comfy. Can't be nude in a Resident Evil game. There's creatures. Literally. Do we have, like, anything particularly sour? <laughs> yeah, you just added, like, an important part to the dick nose lore. Then why is your only friend small salad? You need to make like another friend. Everybody who's only friends with Digna or not Digna, small salad, you need to reconsider. I'd like a new hat. Yeah, you could wear this, Reggie Minch. He doesn't like it! No! But it's so cute! You're like a kid. Come on. What about you, Krungus? What do you want? Okay. I need to eat something. Anything. Anything you say. How about some white bread? He doesn't actually like it. He does like tap water though. I, I, it's really fucking funny to me. Just like Krungus like loving tap water so much that he's like, I'm just gonna say it. Tap water is better than lasagna. I hope all these can be friends with their lookalikes from your world. You know what, Krungus? They could be. <sighs> what do you want? What the fuck do you want? What's that? Don't you have like a prayer to I do? Know. Have a biscuit. <laughs> Fucking Dick Nose's diet of tap water, white bread, and a single biscuit is crazy. This guy cannot cook. Actually. Let's test this. Well, hold on. We have to play with him first. Let's play He's a Quaker. What do you think? The correct answer is. We need to like make Dick Nose cook with the frying pan. What do you think it is? The thing about lookalike. The line about lookalikes from our world reminds you of Bandy's universe where they go to Smash Bros, the portal to the me home world that just leads back to planet Earth. <laughs> That's really good. The correct answer is... Pizza. And finally, the last pizza item. What do you think it is? The correct answer is... He wants pie. <laughs> He's literally a Quaker Catholic. God. I want the big prize. CRT, yes! I need to see what Dick Nose would cook. I'm gonna cook up something tasty. This won't take long. Sometimes you just need to heat up some oil and get your deep fry on. Okay, he's making fried food. I don't like him winking at me. Fried tofu. Okay. 
So that adds an interesting piece of lore. Do we think that Dick Nose is, like, a vegan slash vegetarian? That's not, like, an evil trait to have, to be fair. But when he's, like, frying up tofu for me, I'm, like... Because tofu is, like, very often used in, like, vegan meals. So, like, my mind is, like, hold up. Fried tofu is just tasty AF. Is it? I've never had. Honestly, mostly I'm just trying to justify in my head, like, Dick Nose making something that doesn't suck. Because I, I, I can't process it. Abe Lincoln, do you want an outfit? No. I mean, I'm usually pretty happy just doing my own thing. I might be. I don't do a lot of cooking, but I should. I close my eyes, but nothing happens. Um, Abe Lincoln, you are like naked. Do we have anything good to give to Abraham Lincoln? He loves it. <laughs> he fucking loves it. And you know what, Abe Lincoln? We we've been forgetting to do this. Um Is that why I diluted into doing the weird Diddy Kong Abe Lincoln assassination fit. No, it was not because of this. We added Abe Lincoln because of codename Steam. I was just doing the Abraham Lincoln Diddy Kong assassination bit because I was really fucking tired. I, I, like, I was really fucking tired, and the first bit that came to mind was something about killing President Lincoln. It was a good bit, thank you. We gotta- I, I think this is obvious, we gotta give Hulk Toilet the wrestler outfit. Like, this makes sense, right? Because the Hulk is only wearing pants to begin with. I- I- I could be like the new voice of Diddy Kong. Like, I, like, I listened back to my own Diddy Kong voice, and I'm realizing it's not actually that close to the cartoon, but it's also, like, recognizable enough. And also, probably less grading. I mean, I could be wrong. Maybe someone's listening right now, and they're like, man, I love the comedy that Morgan brings to the table, but she's really fucking annoying. She sounds really annoying. Have the inflection down. Thank you. I, I, I'm usually pretty good at getting inflections. That stream made you so excited you woke up some of the house. <laughs> fuck yeah. That was that was fun as fuck. I, I said it earlier when I was talking about like stuff I was up to, but like I was I'm very happy I was a part of that stream. Will and everybody else were a treat to hang out with and play Mario Kart with, and I'm really like proud of, like, that community for raising so much money for a good cause. It, it made me happy. I always, like, I love being a part of charity stuff in general, because I like to feel like, by doing the stupid bullshit that I do, which is just, like, play video games online, in some small way I'm making a difference. I just can't do, like, charity streams more than once a year, because I always, like, fucking exhaust myself planning out charity streams. <laughs> stream was cool as fuck that was your first charity stream and it was such a success it was it was really awesome to see it really was donated like 40 to it so you feel good about that hell yeah it's always good to contribute to a good cause 
Honestly, that stream was also, like, me donating was part of the reason why I was like, man, maybe I'll wait on a Steam Deck OLED. Because, like, I want to get a Steam Deck OLED at some point, but I'm like, wait. There's, like, other stuff I want, though. And also, that shit is, like, that would be, like, $700 out of my bank account with, like, tax. Like, that sh that's crazy to do while I still have stuff I want to buy. And also Christmas coming up. But that- and I donated to the stream because I was like, this could go to something better than me, like, spending money on a Magical. Steam Deck OLED right now. I heard that Krungus wants to be friends. Yeah, sure. You can be good friends with Krungus. I believe in you, Swagger, too. Nice. I, I I can see them being good buddies. Sorry, you're doing Krongus. I can see them getting along okay. swimmingly. Oh, I have a Steam Deck is the thing. I want you to have it. That's that's the funny thing is I have a Steam Deck, but I I love the idea of having an OLED screen so much that I was like, wait, hold up. A dude bitch wants to make a friend too. Um LCD is not a deal breaker at all, but after buying like a Switch OLED, I was like, wait, OLED screens are like so dope. I'm gonna be so sad when we get the Switch 2 and it's gonna be like LCD again because Nintendo has to save cash. If they don't make some profit off their consoles, they like Nintendo will fucking implode. Waiting till the true next-gen Steam Deck. Mm -hmm. That's probably the proper thing to do. My thing was, like, when I get, like, a Steam Deck OLED, I'm probably gonna give my old model to, uh, Star, my sister. And then she can have one. And then we can both be Steam Deck gamers. That's fucking awesome. I, I do think, like, you and Rin would be great friends. Be a little flattering. All right, bitch, right you're good at being flattering, so flatter her a little bit. Yes! We're friends now, thanks to you. Here, I want you to have this. I wish more people lived on this island. Uh, I'll try my best. Not tonight, though, bitch. Not tonight. We we've got enough people right now. See, I don't want to add too many people each night, because at a certain point, we will just run out of space. We can get up to 100 islanders, and, like, at a certain point, the Tamodachi Island is going to be pretty busy anyways, so I want to hold off. I want to hold off a bit. I want to have, like, our current islanders develop a bit. Shit. Shit. Um. I don't know. In, a, in like 40 years, I'm going to be 63 years old. How, how big will a million even be after like 40 years of inflation? I mean, it'll probably still be a good chunk of money. But I would hope by the time I'm 63, I wouldn't just need, like, a random, like, a million dollars put in my lap. Having money as an older person would be nice. That is true. Maybe I'm thinking too short term, because I'm just like, dude, if I had 10 grand right now, that would be fucking dope. <laughs> that would be fucking sick. A million. Very 
Yeah, I'm with you, Ren. It would be hard to wait. You need a pop song. You're literally a vocal synth. Ooh, and Boxo Man wants to make a friend. I always like doing the friendship ones first. Because I like, yes, I want your friend groups to evolve. I'd like to introduce Morgan to somebody. How about Britney? Yeah, sure. I'll be friends with Britney. Me and Britney? Let's talk about love. Okay. I'll invite them both over. I want to hear Brittany talk about, like, how, like, some mysterious fort is, is trying to set her up with Borg? Yo, me and Brittany are getting along swimmingly right now. We're doing great together. Yes! I love that. Me and Brittany could be so girly pop together. They became friends. It's all thanks to you. Um, unbox oh man. I wish that I had like boxes to give you. I have to like get something that recreates the experience. Unbox oh man, you need to learn yoga. Here, I want you to have this. Morgan's taste in music is weird to say the least. Damn. Damn, what is... Sorry! Fuck, what the hell? Why would he say that? Now I'm like self-conscious. I was like listening to Disco by Sweet Trip and that song kicks ass. Can someone like listen to that song and tell me if my music taste is weird or not? Because now I'm really self-conscious about it. Why would he say that? He can't be saying shit like that. So mean. What's up? Having weird I music taste is kind of base. Yeah, Unboxo Man wouldn't get it. Unboxo Man wouldn't fucking get it. So you want something warm. I'm not really... Uh, the, the tweed jacket, kind of. We need a military coat for Sephiroth, I think. It makes sense. I mean, he was literally in, like, the military, basically. See, now he really does just look like somebody's uncle. This isn't even, like, Sephiroth anymore. This is somebody's uncle. <laughs> My mouse fell. He looks like Chip Revington from Corporate Clash. Hold on, let me look, look up this character. Yeah, this joke is funny. This post- uh, this joke has been fact-checked by true American patriots. Funny. I'm curious also how the rankings have changed since we're on another day. Testament is at the top, still. Testament is doing the best. Bitch in second, Bethany in third, Abe Lincoln in fourth, Raven in fifth, Bernie, Brittany. I don't like Dick Nose riding that high. I don't like that. Naper in ninth, Rin. Sephiroth is doing okay. Same with Hulk Toilet. I'm I'm right down the middle. 8 is doing okay. Swagger 2 is not doing as good. Which is weird because in-game it's a Tuesday. So I don't know why Swagger 2 is having a bad Swagger freaking Tuesday. Bord and Krungus are the same. <laughs> All that exercise really paid off for Peterson. Big Beef's not doing great. Gam Gam. 
I don't like small salad on the rise. I don't like that. I'm not a fan. King Mario is not doing too good. Oh, Unboxo Man is doing bad. Wife of Bigfoot. Scout TF2. Reggie Minch is doing fucking abysmally. Reggie Minch is having the worst fucking day of his life. Is it because I gave him the kid's hat? Wow, look at how much more popular Bort is compared to literally everyone else. Holy shit. He has double as many friends as anybody else on the island. Okay, Small Salad has been bumped down to 8th, which is making me happier, but I'm still not happy that he's not dead last. Bort, Krungus, Bethany, Brittany. Why is Dick Nose fifth? How the fuck is Dick Nose this high? We need to do something about this. How the fuck is Dick Nose like so high? Abe Lincoln is the guy that we've like interacted with the least. But like, what the fuck else are we supposed to do with him? Anyways. Anyways, it's late. It's almost one in the morning. We got some good Tamadachi in. Prayer really is the best medicine. <laughs> we found out he was a Catholic and we accidentally gave him too much attention for it. But this has been a lot of fun. I hope you all have enjoyed Tamadachi. I do not know when the de next Tamadachi stream will be. I probably want to give it a little bit of time. Because we've been doing a lot of it back to back to back. Um, like the past four streams I've done have all featured Tamadachi life. It was fun tubing in. Thank you. I'm glad. Tamadachi is a lot of fun though. It seems like people really enjoy the Tamadachi streams too. And I mean, how could you not? Tamadachi Life is just a funny ass game. It's just a really funny ass game. Um, but I'll be I'll be back tomorrow. We're gonna do a little variety hour. I I do want to start with God Game. I do not know if it'll be four player yet, or it might just be a 1v1. I'm not sure yet. If it's a 1v1, then probably it'll be like a full variety hour, basically. Probably, maybe do a little bit of Mario Kart tomorrow after God Game. Maybe I do just want to do a 1v1, honestly. Maybe that's, maybe that's the bit I want to do. Um, we'll see. We'll see. Have a zeddy-tastic night. Yes, um... But, that's gonna be it for tonight's stream. I wanna thank y'all for coming. Hope y'all have a good night and take care. Um, I will be back tomorrow with a uh, variety hour. We'll be starting with God Game. And uh, we'll see if I do anything else. Probably Mario Kart. Uh, and if I don't, um, I don't fucking know. I guess we'll play like with toys. Maybe, I don't know. Good night. Bye. Bye.